In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello and welcome, friends. Catholic Resiliency here, your home for muscular Catholicism. My prayer this day is for a whole giant Christian army of my countrymen standing up heroically to fight for truth, goodness, and beauty, and to draw a line in the sand against evil, sin, tyranny, and corruption, which as we see is running rampant in our great country. Catholic Resiliency is coming to you and speaking to you this day deep within our nation's heartland. Here in the heartland, we want to stir passion and faith in your hearts. I want to ask that when you look in the mirror the next time, you would ask yourself, what do you truly value? And what is what price is it worth? What sacrifices will you make for what you truly value in life? And far more importantly, when you stand in front of that mirror, look at yourself, who do you love? And I pray, brothers and sisters, that Almighty God is the first one that you would have come to your mind, that you love Almighty God and you would be willing to lay down your life for Him. I am willing to lay down my life for all of you, brothers and sisters, for love of God, for love of neighbor. Evil is running rampant in our society. Evil is multiplying in light of too many good men and women that have been silenced, that have been sidelined. We must be uncancelable. We must be unstoppable. And we must be unshakable in our faith, in our convictions, in our love of our great country and the faith that has our country advanced throughout the centuries. It is not too late, brothers and sisters, as we are on this top side of the ground, as we are on this side of eternity. It is not too late to reinvigorate ourselves and our family and those closest to us, reinvigorate and ask and call and appeal to them to stand shoulder to shoulder in this fight for the soul of a nation, for the soul of our country. My fellow countrymen, will you stand? Will you stand and pray for the grace that God will give us in great abundance if we but ask Him? Ask Him for the grace to stand and combat evils in a rightly ordered way, to have peace through strength, to achieve a greater revitalization of our nation than we've ever seen in our lifetimes, brothers and sisters. As we see our country slipping and falling and circling the drain, both in the temporal ways and in the spiritual ways, we must rise up. We must rise up in the armies of Christ. We must rise up like so many accounts throughout Scripture have spoken to us and shared with us the witness of how God can strengthen those who love Him. I love Almighty God, and I want to see our country brought back to Him. Will you join me, brothers and sisters, when you lay your head down on the pillow at night, and you think of your life, and you think of the events of your life, and you think of those who are dear to you, if you're honest, I think there's no price that we we should be ready to pay. There's no price that we shouldn't pay to keep the co- the good and the true and the beautiful safe and move forward for future generations in improving this great nation to those whom much is given, much is expected. In the words of Mother Teresa, we are in the greatest nation on earth. And in this greatest nation on earth, let us not squander the gifts innumerable, more countless than the stars in the sky that our Heavenly Father has bestowed upon us. Let us be good stewards of all that He has given us. And let us give God great gratitude for these numerous 
rich blessings. It is only right and fitting that he would expect us to do so as he has bestowed upon us such richness and as he has offered for us an eternal inheritance if we would just but follow the teachings of the scripture, the promptings of Almighty God and pray, keep ourselves close to our Lord in the sacraments. Our great general the general, a loving, merciful, just, heavenly Father has an eternal home and a banquet laid for you and for me. And he invites us in this life. He gives us a foreshadowing of what is to come in the next life. Will we live this life as though we are striving for that eternal inheritance? Or will we live this life as orphans, caught and entangled and snared in the sins in that in this world which does not fulfill? It is imitation in so many instances. What we're seeing with the great perversions, the horrible amounts of human trafficking, abortion, these realities that are manifesting are because you and I, brothers and sisters, we've not stepped up to the battle lines shoulder to shoulder for our king and protected this great nation. Brothers and sisters, if you think it sounds like I'm passionate, you're right. I love our country and I've looked around in these recent years and recent months. I said, not on our watch. Will you stand with me, brothers and sisters? Reach out to Catholic Resiliency, catholicresiliency.com. Reach out to Catholic Resiliency and take hold of some of the materials God is blessing us to share on YouTube, at Catholic Resiliency on YouTube, Catholic Resiliency on TikTok, Catholic Resiliency on Instagram. Support us if you are able, brothers and sisters, we want to take this message of the gospel to the ends of the earth. When Jesus Christ walked the earth, brothers and sisters, it was the 12. Today, you and I are the hands and the feet and we will share his message or we will squander the opportunity of a lifetime. I love you, brothers and sisters. I love you, friends. Anywhere within the sound of my voice, anywhere and everywhere where you hear this message, know that this ministry wants to partner with you and bring back our great nation. We're here in the heartland. And from the heartland, let us share what's in our hearts. I know that there is passion in your heart. Let that passion in your heart come forth to a society that's hungry to know something authentic and something real, something lasting and something eternal. Brothers and sisters, it's a great honor to be with you. Again, let me remind you and let me say it yet again. It bears repeating. When you look in that mirror, when your head lays down on the soft pillow in your home, reconstitute in your mind, in your heart, and in your soul what it is that gets you out of bed in the morning, what it is that makes you tick, what it is that motivates you. Ultimately, we don't take one more breath unless God wills it. Brothers and sisters, unless Almighty God, through the power of the Holy Spirit, wills that we have more time on this earth, we will not have even one more minute. Savor every breath, brothers and sisters, and live like it's your last day, because it could be. Live like tomorrow's not a promise, but it's a chance. A chance for you and I to be on fire for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Patriotism and piety go together. Amen? Catholic Resiliency in the heartland. Check us out. Follow us on social media and on our website, 
Catholic re resiliency, your ministry, your home for muscular Catholicism and Christianity is your partner on this journey of life towards eternity. Where will we spend eternity? Don't take chances with your eternal salvation, brothers and sisters. We have an eternal reward that will await us. God has prepared a great banquet and an inheritance, and he calls us. And we start today. We start in this life. We start now moving towards an eternal home. God bless you, brothers and sisters. Be of good courage. Be of good cheer. Build a culture of life throughout the year.